In all my makeup less score glory, I thought I'd give you a quick update. <laughs> I can't remember the last time what I've told you, but in case I haven't told you, we do have a wood heater installed now. Is it going to focus? No, maybe. Anyway, there is a wood heater installed now, and we have been working on the trim. So we've started putting some trim up and around. How cool is this picture? <laughs> We had it in our old house and it was just an odd picture for that house, but for here, it matches perfectly. <laughs> Everything still needs to be painted, so if you're thinking, man, I can really see some uh, marks there, that's because it hasn't been painted yet. But let's go outside and I'll give you a bit of an update of what we've been doing in the garden. I put my jacket on so I could go outside and show you bits of bobs in the garden, but it just won't stop pouring with rain. So I'm going to show you what I can show you out from the outside, from inside. Things like this. We have a ton of daffodils popping up from the previous owners.
I don't know if the camera's picking it up because I don't think it is. But you'll see we've got daffodils there. Daffodils over there. Daffodils over there. They're literally popping up everywhere. Now you may not be able to tell, but maybe if I zoom out a bit, I planted some honey snap peas. I, I don't think you can tell very well through this window here. There we go. I planted some honey snap peas to get a lot of sunshine here when the sun is out. <laughs> um, are they the same as sugar snap peas? I don't actually know. I've never heard of honey snap, but they might be the same thing. I'm not sure. So they seem to be going pretty good. And if we go to this window, my spinach looks awesome and healthy. And <laughs> that silver bucket that you can see there, well, I planted uh, broccoli seeds in there months ago. And there's the tiniest little sprouts. I don't actually know <laughs> what's going on. It's so slow. But there is something growing out of that pot there. <laughs> More daffodils. And this pot here. Where's my finger? This one here. That's my blueberry plant. Hopefully I'll get to show you one day when it's not pouring with rain. But that's gone really well. Hopefully we get some nice blueberries this year. But I don't think there's much I can show you from inside. It just literally won't stop raining. Just realized that you can see more daffodils here. They're literally everywhere. They're all over the property. It's a shame that the majority of them are the whitey ones, not the bright yellow ones, which I prefer. But hey, I love a good daffodil. So the rain stopped. I'm going outside for five minutes just to close off this video, but I wanted to show you our backyard. It's actually our front yard. Um, for those of you that have been watching from the beginning, you would have known we lost a lot of trees in December when there was a huge storm. And the whole this whole area was covered and littered with trees and branches. And slowly, slowly, we've been burning all of the, the yucky rubble that needed to be burnt, like the thin branches and things. But we've almost gone through all of our firewood, surprisingly. I thought it would last ages. It's not la it hasn't lasted as long as I thought I would. And this is our first year of really using a wood heater as our primary main source of heat. Um, we've had a wood heater before, you know, in our old house, but it was just more for fun. You know, it wasn't, we didn't heat, we had gas heating as well. But we've gone through almost all our wood, which has been a really good experience because it's made, one, we didn't pay for this wood, it was all the fallen trees, but two, it's enabled us to really judge how much we need to stockpile over the year to be prepared for next winter. I mean, we're not, over, we're not through winter yet. It's only the beginning of August. Spring doesn't start for three weeks, but even then, it's still gonna be cold enough to have the heater. So, um, it's been good. It's, good. it's a good thing, it's a good lesson to learn Oh, can you hear me? It's very windy. <laughs> it's a good lesson to learn so you know how much uh, wood you need to heat the house for the year or the six months or however long it is that you need to have the heater running. Anyway, I thought I'd show you. So this was... This whole area, this big circle, so you can see like there's no grass here. This was a huge mountainous wood pile. <laughs> That's really what we have left. We don't have much. I mean, this is our scrap building wood. We don't have much wood left. We do have a fallen tree on the other side of our property, which we can cut up, but that takes, everything takes time. That's the part of working on a homestead. You know, you've got to put manual labor in. But um, yeah, this is, you'll see here, it's all getting cleared up. This whole area was just fallen trees everywhere. You couldn't even walk through. Really only have one major pile of stuff to burn which is that one there but it's been so windy it's too dangerous to have a bonfire um so we're just going to wait till the wind dies down you know in a month or two we'll be able to actually clean up a bit more but yeah that's it from me hopefully i'll talk to you guys soon hope you have a glorious day and uh, i'm gonna go actually start the fire 
It's two o'clock. I usually try and start it by 2, 2.30 because, you know, I've got to warm up the house by night time before it gets really cold. And um, I've got to, i got to do my, my housewife duties of starting a fire. How hilarious is that while Nick is at work? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.